Hey, what's up, everyone? Hello, hello, hello. I apologize, but there's always something going on with the tech stuff. So <sighs> forgive me. I am here and you are here. Welcome. Hey, I'm Raven, talk show Maven, and I'm so, so glad you are here today. Thank you so much for showing up. Oh, I'm so excited, so excited that you're here. If you are joining us live or whether you're joining us from the replay, I just want to say thank you for being here, number one. I'm doing a couple of things on my computer and bear with me because it's been acting crazy all day. I know you guys know how that is. But if you're wondering who's this crazy lady, I'm Raven, known by many as the talk show Maven. And before I go another further, I just want to take a deep breath. Will you guys take a deep breath with me? Because all kind of tech stuff is going on today. Yeah, I want to take a deep breath and acknowledge you for being here. I'm really serious about that. I'm so glad you're here. Uh, we have so much to tell you about today, and I just want to welcome you because today, my friend, I'm going to be talking to you about three, one, two, three, simple steps to boosting your business and leveraging kick-ass interviews. Yeah. See these people back here? These are kick-ass interviews. Yeah. So take a look at them because I'm going to be asking you in just one second to start thinking about who you consider a kick-ass interview and who you want to have on your show, okay, or on whatever platform you have. And don't worry, we're going to talk about an identified platform because I know some of you don't even want to have a show. It's too much of a hassle. I get it. I talk to clients like that all the time. I want to ask you, have you always wanted to do interviews, but you just don't know where to start or let's see how to get guests? Have you ever thought of this about contacting one of your favorite top celebrities or experts, but you're secretly wondering, why on earth would they say yes to me? Mm -hmm. I know you have, because I was like that first, and I can't wait to give you some things that I know is going to be way past information today for you. It's going to be transformation. You're going to actually be able to take some of this and take it along with you. Just let me check and make sure I'm coming in clearly, uh, because I can't see you guys, so I apologize for that. I'm going to go ahead and cut my phone on reluctantly and try to see if I can follow us. Yeah, so I can see your comments here on Facebook. And anybody that's texting me, stop it! <laughs> In fact, I got something for those people texting me right now. I'm on air. So what about that? No. There you go. No. 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 Not now. I'm on air. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're listening live or if you are listening to the replay, again, thank you for joining us. This is going to be short and impactful type of uh, training. And uh, I know I promised you guys 20 minutes. I'm already five minutes late because of the tech stuff. So will you forgive me? I'll make it short. I'll make it quack, quick, not quack, <laughs> quick and make it impactful for you for sure. Hey, happy Friday to you. Happy Friday to you. Let me say that. It's the weekend, baby. So we got to get out of here pretty quick. So again, my name is Raven, the talk show Maven. I'm known as Queen. Here's my crown to prove it. Ah, of interview marketing and conversion. And what I do is I help business leaders just like you, podcasters, broadcasters, live streamers, YouTubers, and everyday coaches and consultants. I teach them and show them how to market and grow their business, leveraging from the power of interviews. Go ahead and type in there, power of interviews. If you're with me, go ahead and uh, go ahead and type in the comments, power of interviews, because that's what it's about. And also, you know, we're going to learn how the power of interviews is going to raise your credibility, attract higher payer clients, and uh, it's going to actually take you to a celebrity status what about Oprah? Would you like to be the Oprah in your niche? Well, that's exactly how leveraging the power of interviews will take you. They'll take you there. It will make you the Oprah in your niche. Before we dive in, I'm going to ask you if you got a friend that you feel like will resonate with this message, go ahead and hit share or tag them and invite them over. It's always fun when you're learning together. Don't you think so? I know I do. So go ahead and tag a friend and share and like us and love us and put your name in the comments and put shared so I can acknowledge you. I got my phone right here. I can't see you on the website. 
Not yet anyway, I'm gonna try to get it up. I'm almost afraid to do anything different. So if you see me looking up, that's because I'm trying to get you guys up so I can acknowledge you. But I promise you, if I don't see you now, I'm gonna go back through the notes. You just keep talking to me and I'll keep talking to you and I will go back through the notes. And then guess what? I will be able to acknowledge you then for sure. Okay, great, great, great. So I'm ready to dive in. What about you? Because we've got so much to cover. And uh, let me just check this one point. And then we'll go ahead. I want to make sure that I don't lose you guys. Awesome. Okay. So um, let's start with one of the most important things that you're going to need to get going. And again, keep in mind what we're talking about today and what I'm going to be sharing with you is my three simple tips. I see you, Robert. Hey, Robert. And Yahiti, I see you. I always say her name wrong. (laughs) <laughs> I'm not going to even practice it right now. And um, I want you to remember that we're talking about boosting your business, boosting your business, raising your business simply by doing these kick ass interviews. So while I am sharing this information with you, start thinking about who you want to go out and reach. In fact, go ahead and type their name in there. Type who you want to reach because I want you to bring that from a thought or idea to bring it to reality. That's what I had to do. And I, before I dive in, I want to quickly share, because I know some of you know me, some of you don't, a little bit about my story, and then you really will resonate as to why this is so important. Now, at 55, uh-oh, there goes the phone here. At 55 years old, I went to the hospital and sat by my mother's side for about three weeks. And what happened is at that time I was making $10 an hour, working 20 hours a week. But here's the point of the story. I was stuck. I was disappointed. I was just settling in life. And I knew in order for me to help my mom, I had to help myself. So long story short, I heard a man say that the quickest way to become an expert is to interview experts. Oh my God, I grabbed onto that. He talked about, you know, don't waste time trying to learn stuff and recreate yourself. Go out there and borrow the success of others. Say, borrow the success of others. And that's exactly what I did. Long story short, it took about six to eight weeks And I taught myself from the ICU unit of the hospital while being by my mother's side how to go out there and do pow, kick ass interviews. And it became a business. It became a thriving business. Now I no longer make $10 an hour, I'm glad to say. I'm making six figures and beyond. And guess what? The best part is I get to show people like you, you and you how to do the same. So where do we begin with this, Raven? How does that happen? Well, I'm glad you asked. Uh Uh-oh, my computer is going to bad again. I apologize. Well, one of the ways that you begin is you begin with the end in mind. How much have you got? How many times have you guys heard that? Begin with the end in mind. So the way I begun and the way that I teach people to begin is you have to start with the number one thing. And this is tip number one. You have to create a powerful platform. Yeah, you got to create a powerful platform. Without that, oh my God, you know, who's going to want to be on there? Just think about that. So let's talk about, and again, we're sharing tip number one of the three, the three ways you can boost your business faster rather than slower by doing kick-ass interviews. So we're talking about creating a platform. All right, let's talk about that because what if you don't have a show? Hmm. What if you don't want a show? What if you're working on a book or maybe you're creating a telesummit and you want to bring someone powerful, someone with a lot of authority that's going to make you look pretty good interviewing them, right? Okay. That's what I'm talking about as a part of a platform. So you can do it for podcasts. You can do it for radio shows. You can do it for books. You can do it for blogs. You, You know, when I started doing my interviews, to be honest, I started just having a simple web page that I put together by myself. So you can do that too. And it's that simple. Or you can do videos, which is popular. Or can we even say, (laughs) and you know, this is popular right now. What about doing it for drum roll, please? What about doing it for live streams? Yeah. Yeah. Live streams. There you go. Yes, yes, yes. 
Live streams is popular right now, and that's a powerful platform, a powerful platform. Did I say powerful? A powerful platform that you can bring people to. So I gave you some ideas. So do me a favor. Type in the chat right now which platform you plan on using to bring your kick-ass interviewee to. Go ahead and, and type it in. A, I'm just kind of curious. I want to see what you guys are thinking there. What platform? Would it be a book? Would it be a blog? Would it be any of the ones that I named? And who do you want to interview? Tell me. What do you think, Yehudi? What platform would you use? Robert, what platform would you use? Those that are tuning in all over, what platform would you use? Go ahead and type it in the notes. Inquiring minds like me wants to know. <laughs> so that's tip number one. Okay. So let's talk about tip number two, because we're moving fast and fierce. It's the weekend, baby, and I want to get you in and out of here. Shucks, I kept you five minutes just waiting for me to come on. That darn going to computer, what am I going to do with it, right? <laughs> okay, so tip number two, get clear on what your audience needs. Yes. What do they really want? What are they hungry for? What are they thirsty for? You, my friend, have got to ask your audience what type of topics they want you to bring. You want to even ask them who would they like to see on your show? This is exactly, exactly what I did. And you got to be clear because one of the things that you don't want to do is make a mistake, make a mistake and bring the wrong person to the wrong platform, okay? And I'm gonna talk to you about that in a second. But first, let me share this with you. When you are clear as to what your audience wants, they will love you, they will share you, they will always wanna have your show. Even if they can't do it live, they will download you, they will come back, they will tell you friends. So be clear. I started out asking my guests, uh, I'm sorry, my, my um, listeners, I said, who would you like to see on the show. What topics really, 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 you know, mean a lot to you? Where is your pain at? Because your show, your book, your blog, whatever platform, your live stream is the solution to their what? Problem. Oh yeah. So you want to tap into what that problem is, their pain and you want to close the gap with your solution, okay? So again, that's number two. Now, before I get off of number two, I've got to share this with you. I really do. So let me just go ahead and share what a big mistake I made and many of my clients did by not asking the listeners what they wanted. Even if you think you got another idea and you think it would be great for them, <laughs> we'll wait till you hear this. Let me tell you. One of the things that I did early on, I guess it was probably about my second year, I had a show for baby boomers and it was to help them go for their dreams and visions. And I thought, you know what? I'm kind of getting tired of these shows. I think I'll bring a business one. People want to hear about businesses. Huh? Wrong. In fact, it was so wrong. I lost a lot of listeners. Did you hear me? I did. I lost a lot of listeners. The baby boomers did not want to hear about that. Oh, no, they didn't. They wanted to hear, believe it or not, they wanted to hear things that touched their heart, touched their soul. Like, how do I get past abuse? Oh, you know, my husband left me. Um, I'm, you know, I find myself uh, at home alone. The kids are gone. I'm going through the empty nester. That's what they wanted to hear. And I said, well, the business person is a baby boomer. <laughs> I'll bring them on and they can talk about how they started a business from home. Mm -mm, they didn't want it. No, 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 absolutely did not want it. And I, at that time I was getting about 5,000 downloads a month and it went down to almost a thousand downloads a month. Cause that was early on. So I want you to understand that. Cause we are talking about, remember, remember the topic, three simple steps to you boosting your business and getting these kick-ass interviews. And if you are not sure of the two things we talked about already, number one, if you don't have a platform, you don't have anywhere to bring these kick-ass interviewees to, they ain't gonna come. They ain't gonna come. Next, if you are not clear of what your audience wants, clear of what they're hungry for and thirsty for, they won't be there to listen. 
Okay, so that's what you have to know about it. And believe me, you want to be clear because that's going to tie into step number three. But before we go into step number three, I want to just say hi again and welcome those of you that have just come. And uh, maybe you're late instead of me. That sounds good. <laughs> maybe you had computer problems too, did you? I did. <laughs> well, welcome you, whether you're listening to live or whether you're listening to the replay. I want to welcome you and thank you for tuning in to um, three simple tips to you boosting your business to have kick-ass interviews. And if you're wondering what the heck is a kick-ass interview, look at these people behind me, Sherry Shepard, um, Allie Brown, you know, who we have, oh, let's see, Rosie Perez, Sinbad, Russell Simmons, Les Brown, Chili from TLC, Brendan Bouchard, you can't see him. These are my heroes and sheroes, and I went out there and I got them and I brought them to my powerful platform. So again, I want you to tell me about you because we're going over to tip number three now. and I want you, before we go into tip number three, number one, like us, love us, and share us, because we love that. Oh, my. Like us, love us, and share us. Share us with a friend. Tag someone, because we're about ready to go into tip number three, and I want you to get ready for that, okay? So you understand uh, the first one and the second one, and so now as we move into number three, I want you to listen closely for this, because this is the one that's really going to get you out there to get those kick ass interviews. Okay. That's why number one and two has to be so important. So let's go ahead and jump into number three. We've already recapped. You guys know where you're going. And so here we go again. Let's do a drum roll for number three. You ready? Let's see if we can get it going. There we go. Yeah. All right, you're ready for tip number three. So let's go ahead and bring that in. And remember, guys, I want you to interact with me and type in the notes some of the things we talked about before. Remember, I want you to go ahead and put in the notes because I'm going to go back afterwards and I'm going to reply to you. So I want you to li list who your dream interview is, right? What platform would you do? We talked about that. Right. Yeah. And um, what would be some ways that you would survey your listeners or ask your listeners or how would you go about finding out what they want? I gave you a hint right there. A survey that was by accident. But what if they think out the box? What are some other things that you would do? Think about that as we go into number three and number three of getting your kick ass interview is this. And I got to come on screen for this. You already know this. Number three, I'm trying to let you guys keep up with me because I'm trying to talk fast and get this going for you. So and get you out of here because it's Friday. It's the weekend, baby. So number three is understanding what's in it for them. Who's them? Hey, you're a kick-ass interviewee. That's who I'm talking about. So what's in it for them? Why? Hmm. Think about this. This is something that, you know, uh, Arsenio Hall used to say, things that make you say, Hmm. Yeah. This is what the person you want to interview, they're saying, hmm, tell me more. Why do I want to be on your, why should I be on your show? Why, what would be the reason for me to do that? That's what they're saying. That's what they're thinking. So I want you to understand that when you connect with them, it has to be for what's in it for them. So take a moment and think about that. And I want you to just jot down in the chat, why would someone want to be on your show? You got to understand the value of your show. And um, in order for them to say, yes, I'm going to be on your show, you got to do your homework. Did you know you have to do your homework? Yeah. But um, I want you to be able to think like this. Doing your homework means you are going to investigate and you're going to go Deep, deep, deep on your investigation, okay? Don't be a slacker. If you want to get a yes more than a no, you're going to have to go deep. And that is so important. Yeah. Now, so Yuhidi says that her platform is going to be with Facebook Live, audio, and video. Yay, Yuhidi. And... Um, Let's see. Um, Carla says she's going to get out and have her show. Well, Carla's going to be on um, 
our amazing women of power radio network. So yeah, 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 Shakala. And I know we have Shelly here and she's also going to be do that as well. So what are some other places that you guys want to do your shows on? Keep putting those in there and I'll acknowledge you. Oh, and by the way, if you share, because we do want you to share this with a friend, there's going to be people listening to this afterwards and they need to know this stuff. So share, share, share right now and write down or type in the notes, Raven, I shared or took share so I can acknowledge you. Okay. Um, okay. So Carla says she's been trying to get on, but she haven't been able to see the show. Okay. Well, I'm seeing it on Facebook. If you guys can't see me, let me know. I'm going to ask my husband, Khalid, to let me know if he can see me because it looks like we're good on my end, but I don't know. So Khalid, text me if you can see me okay on the talk show Maven channel. All right. So we are talking about number three. And the first part of number three is you got to investigate. And that is the letter I. Now, this is important. And let me tell you why. See, they got to have a compelling reason as to why this would benefit them being a guest on your show. They have to be. And so basically, it's going to be all based on exactly what you've done in your homework. Do you know why they want to be in there? Because what's in it for them? Not you. What is in it for them? That's the important part of that. Okay. And so understanding that will get you that yes, a lot, lot faster for sure. The next thing is you got to see, you got to connect with them. And this is why you got to go deep on that investigation because you want to connect with them in a way that, um, well, to be honest, in a way that your information that you got up front is going to resonate with them. And that's when that hmm will not be a hmm because they'll know that you get them. If you're talking to the producer, if you're talking to the manager, they'll know that you're not just sending a bunch of emails or just calling anybody. You really deserve to have this kick-ass interviewee on your show. So connecting is really good. Own, you want to own your platform. That's the next letter. And we're on tip number three, O for own. Own your platform. Be proud of it. Talk it up. You know, don't make it seem like a little thing. Make it seem like it's big because you're around the world now. You have the power to take your message and take your kick ass interviewee everywhere. And finally, in, well, that's get to the nitty gritty. Get to the nitty gritty. So that is the secret sauce I want to share to you for tip number three. You want to use what I call my icon interview process. And that I is really serious because that's where it all begins. Now, if that makes sense to you guys, I want you to put in the box. Yes, Raven makes sense to me. No, just put yes. Just put yes in the type in the box. And I would love, love, love to acknowledge you and uh, say something to you. I'm trying to see you on the screen. I'm using my phone and I'm looking a little cray cray, but that's okay. If you guys are getting this, give me a thumbs up. Thank you for the shares. I see you guys have been sharing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Great. Uh, Yahidi says, connect, connect, connect. Many say, yes, Raven. Carla says, yes, yes, yes. Oh my God. <sighs> I'm so happy. Because <laughs> everything around me is falling apart. <laughs> so if you guys get it, great. <laughs> Isn't it great? This is what I love about live streaming. It's raw, baby. This is the way it is. Uh Uh-huh, (laughs) uh-huh. For sure. And that's what I love about it. And when you're going out and interview these um, experts, just be yourself. Just be yourself and follow this process. Hi, Patricia. Hey, Andrea. Terry. Hi, Terry. And you're heeding all of you guys. Thank you for coming. And thank you for those of you that are listening to us live. So we talked about, real quick recap, number one. Who wants to put in the chat box what number one is? Do you guys remember? Hmm? Hmm? What? Number one was remember having a powerful platform. That platform's got to be powerful. I don't care if it's a book, a blog, a radio show, a live stream. It doesn't matter. Have a powerful platform. Yes. Number two. Who remembers number two? Type it in the chat box. Anybody remember number two? Uh Uh-huh. Well, number two, just to let you know, remember, was you got to be clear what your audience wants. Yes, thank you, Mindy, said one, having a powerful platform. Two, 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 two is, yes, knowing what your audience asks. 
wants, right? What are they hungry for? What are they thirsty for? That's number two. That's number two. Okay. And then number three, who remembers what number three is? Who remembers? Who reads me? Who remembers? Who remembers? I do. I do. I do. <laughs> who remembers number three? Number three is W-I-F-T. What's in it for them? How about that? What's in it for them? Why does a kick-ass interviewee want to come on your show, Yahidi? Andrea, why do they want to be on the show? Yes. Mindy, why do they want to be on your show? Terry, why do you want to be on the show? Mary, uh, all you guys, why do they want to be on your show? You have to be clear of that, okay? Now, who wants to know? Who wants to know? What's the number one thing most people, including probably you, I know it was the case for me, aren't doing? Who wants to know that? You guys want to know that? Are you ready? If you want to know, say, tell me, Raven. Tell me, Raven, because I want to tell you. I'm jumping out of down my seat. I want to tell you. You ready? Number, well, this isn't even a number. This is the thing, the number one thing that people aren't doing. They're not asking. And so I want to invite you to just ask. Just make it simple, guys, and ask. Don't try to overthink it. Just go for it and ask. Absolutely. Absolutely. You want to ask for that interview. Put your big girl panties on, your big, your big guy, whatever on, draws on, and A-S-K ass. I want you to type in there, A-S-K ass. Yes, you heat it. Just ask. Yes, just ask. Just ask. <laughs> Absolutely. And that's exactly what you guys want to do. So that's, you know, this is it, guys. I told you it was three simple tips. I tried to warn you that it wasn't hard. The three simple, easy, breezy tips to get kick-ass um, interviews and boost your business fast. Boost your business fast. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, Mindy's so right. I think it was Mindy that said the one thing that they're not doing is they're not asking for the interview. Absolutely. Absolutely, guys. So as long as you do that, as long as you really do that, you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. So... I, um, well, you know what? I got one more thing I want to share with you guys. And that is, remember my story. Don't wait to be great. Go out there and do whatever it takes. You know, have the power to do what you're meant to do. And I know you're meant to do a lot. You know, Telesummits is big and, and radio and live stream is big. And as smart and savvy business owners, wouldn't you agree? We're always, always looking for ways to build our lists and get out there and make more money, get more clients and stuff. Well, it ain't going to happen unless you do something way out the ordinary because you got to stand out a cut above your competition. And so interviewing and master the art of getting kick-ass interviews is going to grow your business fast. Absolutely, positively you know, beyond a doubt, shadow of a doubt, fast. And I want you guys to get there. I trust that you can get there. So if you think you can get there, I want you to say, yes, Raven, I'm ready because I have something that I want to share with you. And But I need your permission, okay? And if it's okay with you, I want to go ahead and share something that I think, in fact, I know will help you get there faster rather than slower. So if that's okay with you guys, will you put yes, Tell us, Raven, and then that'll let me know and give me permission to do that, if that's okay. All right? So, can I tell you, can I tell you, can I tell you, can I tell you? Oh, Patricia says yes. Yahudi says yes, 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 yes. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm excited. Good. Tamar says, I mean, Asif says, I'm ready. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Great. Okay. I've created a masterclass training where within 90 minutes, you're going to learn the icon interview formula. I mentioned those earlier as uh, my secret weapons. Remember, I for investigate, C for connect, O for own, and N for getting to the nitty gritty. Well, of course, it's more than that, but I'm trying to talk fast up in here. <laughs> I can't go no faster. I'm 66. Hey, I'm doing good going this fast. <laughs> right? So I want to teach you really what it's all about because this really helped me land some big interviews. And Icon Formula takes you from no interviews, like me, to booking interviews with experts, influencers that can help you build authority and increase your credibility and attract higher paying clients. Who wants higher paying clients? Raise your hand, raise your hand if you do. Do you want higher paying clients? Well, you deserve to have it and we want you to have it. And I, this is what's going to help you get there. So, 
By the end of the master class, I'm going to tell you what you will have. Again, it's 90 minutes. It's going to be done in one day. And your end result is you're going to know and have the exact proven strategies on where to find those kick-ass experts. Would you guys like to know how I find the, these experts? I mean, will you, if you do, put a one in the box if you want to know. Because that's what I'm going to tell you. I'm going to show you. In fact, I'm not even going to tell you. I'm going to screenshot. You will know exactly, exactly where I get the top numbers. I'm talking about the manager's numbers, the publicist's numbers. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Shelly's raising her hand. Yay! Absolutely, absolutely. Then the next thing that you will walk away in that master class, you're going to know my secret spying technique. Mm -hmm. spying technique that will get you that yes when you ask for the interview. Yeah. Oh my God. And I'm a spire. Let me tell you a true spire. So you'll get to know that for sure. You know, I, I interviewed Chili. You guys remember Chili from TLC? Yeah. Legendary singing group. Well, I interviewed her and let me tell you at first when I asked, they said no, but then I realized I didn't investigate enough. So I went back Gave them about six months, and I found this one thing through my secret spying technique that I can't wait to tell you. I found that one thing, and she said, yes, 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 yes. In fact, if you go, in fact, I believe it's on this page here. When you get off, you will hear a little bit of that interview that I did with Chili. And guess what? She's coming back. Oh, yeah. All my guests come back. They come back over and over again. That's because I know how to get them, and I can't wait to show you. Okay. The next thing is how to directly connect with the decision maker. You're going to know that. You're going to know the strategies and how to confidently ask for the interview. I told you you had to connect, but it's all about the languaging. You know, what you can say can hurt you or help you. I'm going to give you the exact words. How would you like to have my script? Would that make it easy for you? Of course it would, Raven. Give me the script. If you guys want my script, put down yes, 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 because I'll give you the exact words. In fact, you'll get, even get to hear an audio of me asking for an interview. Now, is that cool or what? Yes, yes, yes. So this is all part of the Icon Interview Formula Masterclass that I'm doing. And what I'll be doing as a result, people will, well, you know what? People have used this exact formula. In fact, I know for sure that one of them who interview Eleanor Roosevelt's granddaughter, Anna. She's here. And not Anna, not Eleanor Roosevelt's daughter, but the person that interviewed them. Hey, Nancy, I'm just saying. She interviewed them and she used my, yeah, my secret spying technique and all the other things that I taught you. And then there's another person here that interviewed Martin Luther King's daughter. Her name is Mary. Hey, Mary. Hey, Mary. Yes, she got it. And Rena Douglas got, well, she got an interview from Jack Canfield and a stellar testimonial. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we, you, we're going to show you all that in our master class. Listen, I spent a lot of your time today, so I want to cut this short. Um, I want you to understand that this is going to work for you, even if you've never done an interview for, before. Don't worry about it because you're going to have the scripting, the wording and everything. This will work for you, even if you don't have a platform. Don't worry about it because I'm going to show you how to get one up by the end of the day. How about that? <laughs> And be confident. This is going to end, uh, work for you even if you don't want a radio show, but you want to grow your business. Well, what I will show you, you will be able to get the interview and testimonials. And let me ask you this. Do you think if you had a testimonial from Jack Canfield or someone like that, that that would help you? Do you think that? I think so. So let's go ahead and close off. But let me telling you where you can go for this interview. Um, for the icon interview formula, I want you to go to this page here, talkshowmaven.com go, talkshowmaven.com go, because I'm offering this to you today for only $97. Now, this is for action takers, not procrastinators. So for $97, you will get this. And if you go to talkshowmaven.com forward slash go, uh, will somebody type that in the notes for me? Guess what? You have the option of one pay for $97 or two pay because we want to just you know, don't put money in the way. We already said, don't wait to be great. You got to get out there and grow your business, build a list, you know, come from the shadows to the spotlight. You got to get going. So don't be a procrastinator, be an action taker. Go to talkshowmaven.com now, take the one or two pay. I don't care. Just jump on in. And you're also going to get something as a bonus that I'm going to give for all my action takers. Cause I love, love, love action takers. Look, this is what you're going to get. Let me show you as we close out.
you will get ah, the ultimate interview toolkit at the end of the course. Everybody's going to get this. And this has the scripts. This has the questions. This has uh, even how to get a sponsor. Everything you need is in this ultimate interview toolkit. And it's F-R-E-E-E. Yes, free for the first 10 people, 10 people, only 10 people, the first 10 people, because I'm not taking no more than 20 and I'm not giving all 20 yet. So I love to reward action takers. Go now to talkshowmaven.com forward slash go like G-O. And that way you are your ultra uh, ultimate interview toolkit, your spot for the masterclass. All that will be held. We kick off next Friday at three o'clock. You'll even get a download, a download of the icon interview infographic and all 20 people, every single one that uh, actually comes in will get the actual one mailed to their house for free. That's it guys. I'm out. I, I want to see some action takers. Who's an action taker? Put yes in the chat box. If you're an action taker, are you an action taker? Yes, 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 yes. Who's an action taker? Yes, 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 yes. I love action takers. I'm going to call it a day. This is great. I'm way over my time again. <laughs> you just can't shut us talk show hosts up. Okay. Raven at Talk Show Maven, Queen of Interview Marketing Conversion, talkshowmaven.com forward slash go. Go now so you can get it for $97 or two pay. Get your ultimate interview toolkit at the end of the course. Get your infographic mailed to you. Yes. Hey. Remember, life is precious. Go for your dreams and visions. Remember my story, how it started. And now, you know, I just received the Presidential Lifetime Achievement Award. Yes. And it was all from broadcasting. And guys, I can't wait to have you in a master class because I'm also going to teach you how you can get testimonials like this. And I'm going to let you close out with this so you can really think about and know how powerful this is. Here we go. Listen to what Jack said. Hi, I'm Jack Canfield, and I've appeared on more than 1,000 radio interview shows in the past 25 years. And my time with Raven Blair Glover on her show, Don't Wait to Be Great, was one of the most enjoyable ever. She is a rare combination of dynamic, spontaneous, and fun, as well as thoroughly prepared, deeply insightful, and a great listener who responds with great follow-up questions, as well as her own experiences in a way that moves the conversation forward without stealing the focus. And one of the best radio interviews on the planet. And I would highly recommend being on her show to anyone who's serious about getting your message out to more people and enjoying the process at the same time. And she has become so successful at this interviewing process that she's now teaching other people how to have their own interview shows. So if you're thinking about having a radio interview show on the internet or on broadcast, whatever it is, and you want to be successful, make sure to check out Raven Blair Glover because she can help you get where you are now to where you want to go with your radio career. All right. I'm going to show you how to get one like that. I'll see you in the master class. Talkshowmaven.com forward slash go as in G-O. Hugs and kisses and life. have a wonderful weekend. And remember, make each and every day your intention to get more life out of living and more living out of life. See ya. Bye-bye. <laughs>